The woman has been a bridesmaid 27 times, but she's never received a single bouquet. Just when she thought she was sure to get her own this time, the person who appeared beside her and knocked her to the ground. When she woke up, a man appeared in front of her. The man asked her if she was feeling ill. She told him she was fine, but her staggering stance was unsettling. The man was kind enough to take her home. On the way back, he saw the notebook she left in the car. He wanted to return it to the woman, but as a newspaper writer, he was curious about the heavy notebook. Kevin learned about the woman's special hobby. The woman's name was Jane. She was a flower girl once when she was a child. It made her fall in love with the wedding atmosphere. She loved the feeling of being married. So when she grew up, she used to be a bridesmaid. She'd pick out the bride's favorite dress. She'd even take on all the hassle of being a bridesmaid. She'd calm their pre-wedding nerves, and she'd take care of the inconvenience of wearing a wedding dress. She can be a bridesmaid into weddings at the same time, just to enjoy the atmosphere that brings her joy. Her closet full of bridesmaid dresses symbolizes her desire for love, and she's always looking forward to wearing her own wedding dress. Kevin read the notes with a look of disbelief on his face. He couldn't believe there was such a woman in the world, so he approached the editor-in-chief with the idea that Jane's story would be a hot story. She told him to do something real and not to try to find another way. But Kevin's persistence gave him a chance. Soon after, Jane received a bouquet of flowers while she was working. Looking at the flowers without contact information, her heart appeared unprecedented excitement. She mistook them for the man of her dreams. Just as her boss approached her, her best friend slapped made her realize the reality and shattered her illusion. After work, Jane came to the airport to pick up her sister Tess. Watching her flirting with the man she met on the plane, she realized that her sister's open-mindedness had never changed. When she got home, she told her sister that she was going to a party tonight. She told her to eat and take care of herself, but her sister wanted to go too. But an hour later, Jane would regret telling her sister the news. At the party, she was chatting happily with her girlfriends, but the boss came over to her. By the way, did you look at that thing I left on your desk this morning? On my desk? Yeah, was that... Okay. It was great. And that's when Jane fell for it. She laughed happily and told her boss that he liked her too. Looking at the mature, stable and successful boss, she couldn't help but confess to her boss. But when she was halfway there, she saw her boss walking towards the front. And there was her sister, who had just returned. When the three of them came together, a strange love triangle began. This is my sister Tess. Uh, Jane is my sister. Kind of like my right hand. Lucky her. I even dropped my dry cleaning slip off on her desk today. Uh, the boss's words woke Jane up from a dream. She's been a clam all along. She couldn't believe that her sister was loved by her boss. Looking at the back of the two men leaving, Jane felt bad. The sudden appearance of Kevin turned Jane's frustration into despair. He asked Jane if she liked the flower she got this morning. Jane couldn't believe what she was hearing. The flowers that made her so happy were from a strange man. The helplessness and compromise she felt could only be aired out. When she came to Kevin again, Kevin returned her notebook and told her that he had opened it to apologize. He wanted to invite Jane for a drink and a chat, but Jane's entire focus was on her sister and her boss. She turned down Kevin's invitation. She wanted to take her sister home, but her sister didn't answer her. She left with her boss. The sister turned around and thanked Jane for her kindness. At 3 a.m., she returned to her home. She couldn't sleep because of the agitation that filled her brain. She started reading magazines to ease her worries, sitting in front of the computer to work. But no matter what she did, she was always worried that her sister would steal the man she loved. Finally, when she was about to be exhausted, her sister came home, looking at her excited and happy look. Jane couldn't help but lie to her about her boss's shortcomings and strange behavior, but her sister seemed to have fallen in love and couldn't help herself. That's why her sister would always show up at the boss's office, and Jane would always fall into an inexplicable sadness. It's not easy to find out what happened to her. Kevin wrote a huge contact on her notebook. When she saw it, our anger came out. She called Kevin to scold him for his rude behavior, but Kevin was expecting it. He apologized sincerely to Jane and then invited her out to dinner. Once again, Jane declined Kevin's invitation. Because of her job, she became the middleman between her boss and her sister. They went out on a date, and she had to follow them all the time. Watching them play baseball together, Jane felt as if she had fallen into a state of jealousy. On weekends, she had to pick up the flowers her boss gave her sister. She found out that the wallpaper on her boss's computer had changed to her sister's. The events of their relationship made Jane give up her struggle. She would stuff her mouth at every meal. She wouldn't get involved in their conversations. When she came home from work and saw their closeness, 
she would cautiously leave. Once again, while cleaning up after her boss, she saw his wallet and was afraid he'd look for it. Jane looked at her boss's schedule restaurant. She was shocked by the sudden proposal. This was the romantic proposal she had always dreamed of. But the reality is often cruel. Jane was embarrassed by her sister's appearance. She could only step aside and watch her boss propose to her sister. She had nowhere to turn in her heart. Soon her sister and her boss were ready to get married. Watching them tie the knot, her eyes turned red. Her father gave her mother's wedding dress to her sister. This instantly made Jane feel desperate. This was was the dress she dreamed of wearing for her wedding. But looking at their happy faces, Jane could only say something against her will. In the days that followed, her sister took Jane as her assistant. She asked Jane to arrange everything for the wedding and became her own boss. The sadness and anger she felt inside led her to Kevin. She realized that her sister had always been taken care of. Her mother's death left her with the responsibility of taking care of her sister. But as she grew up, her sister took her care for granted. She would hand over her belongings to her sister. She didn't care how tired she got from carrying all those bags. My father also became more excited when he saw my sister. I've said no to people. He couldn't help but vent to Kevin, but her heart was too soft to say no. One day she came with her sister to order a cake. When she turned around, she saw Kevin applauding her. Jane would never have guessed that Kevin was the editor of the news agency, and her sister invited him here to publish her wedding in the newspaper. Jane was so disappointed that she was hiding it from him. She couldn't believe why everyone around her always got together. The next day, Kevin found Jane's house. He came to ask for information about his sister for the paper. Jane didn't know she was looking for her. When he saw Jane's entire closet of bridesmaids' dresses. He couldn't help himself. Oh, good God. Kevin taunted her that the bridesmaids' dresses weren't nice at all. In order to prove that she's never wrong, Jane was going to change into her bridesmaids' dress and show him. But she fell into Kevin's trap. Kevin photographed her closet when no one was looking. And when Jane came out, he took a picture of Jane. Hey, you are totally right about the dress. It is not that bad. But come on, the colors, please. Well, it's your flash. I think it's blowing it out weird, and if it were just a normal... Okay, it's not very good. I got it. He was supposed to ask for information about his sister, but it turned into a photo shoot of a bridesmaid's dress. She had an unattractive dress, but the flowers on her head were her legacy. She couldn't be charmingly handsome in a man's suit. The seeds of love had sprouted in this moment. He couldn't help but laugh at Jane's adorable vivacity. Jane had never shown her bridesmaid's dress to anyone before, but she didn't know if she wanted to show off her experience to Kevin or to satisfy her inner happiness. She changed dress after dress. The photo shoot helped them bond. Looking at the 27 photos taken of Jane, Kevin couldn't help but ask her what she thought. All right, but come on, seriously. I mean, how much time do you spend doing this for other people? What about what about you? You don't have any needs? No, I don't. I'm Jesus. In response to Jane's answer, Kevin felt his heart fluttering. Afterwards, Kevin would always find excuses to come to Jane's side. He couldn't help but complain as he watched Jane fussing over her sister's shopping. You know, your sister wants so many presents from so many different stores that she physically cannot register for them all herself. <sighs> She's pressed for time. It's a short engagement. When his own contribution became the other party's rightful reward, Jane saw her sister for what she was when she arrived at her sister's house. She saw her laid-back sister. She also found the boss's brother cleaning up after her. She questioned her sister's behavior, but she said it was a chance for her to earn some pocket money. Jane was even more speechless at her sister's answer, and Kevin's boss went straight to him because he hadn't been submitting his news. Kevin had no choice but to send everything he knew about Jane in order to tell Jane about his behavior. He found her. He found her chatting happily with her boss. He ruined Jane's happy moment just to make her realize the truth. Kevin like a light bulb. The second I saw you mooning at him over Polenta. Of course you're upset. You're planning your sister's wedding to the man that you're in love with. You're stuck in this creepy little love triangle, and all the while you're about one monogram party favorite away from blowing your brains out. Kevin's words sent them into an argument. Jane's excitement and the pouring rain made them almost roll over. Their simultaneous irritation led them into a pub with a glass of wine. Their mood changed. Jane remembered an article Kevin had written about getting married. Ke Tell her wedding. You wrote a column that moved me to tears because downright flat out the most beautiful thing I have ever read. Kevin's face lit up at Jane's compliment. He couldn't help but sing a love song to Jane. Maybe he fell in love with this lovely girl the first time they met. They fell in love with each other over the years. They opened their hearts to each other, and it brought a lively atmosphere to the tavern. No romantic music, no romantic atmosphere, but they were the center of attention, and it was a moment Jane will never forget. Kevin's words broke the last barrier between them, and they kissed each other tightly. It was a night that changed both of them in a night that led them to true love, but a news 
newspaper doused Jane's flames of love. She saw her picture on the front page in her wedding dress. Kevin tried to explain that he didn't want to be in the paper. He didn't think the editor would publish it so soon. An angry Jane slapped her and broke up their relationship. She looked at the silent Kevin with heartache in her eyes, but she turned away. When she got home, Jane was already devastated, but her sister, with the newspaper, was not going to let her go. She accused Jane of stealing her front page. Then she called Kevin. She called Kevin and yelled at him for ruining her with his article. But the wedding didn't stop there. Jane would still come with her sister to try on dresses. But her sister's actions completely enraged Jane. On the night of the engagement, Jane was the first to congratulate her sister, revealing her true colors. The boss is a big fan of animal protection. But her sister lied that she loved animals too. But pictures of her eating meat never fooled anyone. She likes violence. Not children, she hates animals but always pretends she does. I thought that was the end of Jane's speech. I didn't expect the boss's brother to come to Jane's defense. Jane's anger was gone, but she couldn't be happy. She went outside and cried, feeling like she'd ruined everything. Kevin came to her side to comfort her. He encouraged Jane to take the initiative to pursue her own happiness. Looking at Kevin's back, Jane's eyes were red, but she didn't know what to do. In order to ease the atmosphere between the two sisters, that wanted them to solve their problems alone. And the younger sister was not angry with her sister. She knew that her behavior had angered her. When she got home, she threw away all her clothes. She didn't want to be a bridesmaid or care about anyone else. She resigned from her job and told her boss that she had a crush on him for a long time. The boss came up with the idea of using kisses to test whether they're in love. It was then that Jane realized what she loved. She rented Kevin's company and found out that he was at the wedding. Jane rushed over and stood on the stage to tell Kevin her heart. Kevin, I've been waiting my whole life for the right guy to come along, and then you showed up. And you were nothing like the man I imagined. You're cynical and cranky and impossible. But the truth is, fighting with you is the best thing that's ever happened to me. And I think there's a very good chance that I'm falling in love with you. Get over here. The moment they looked at each other, they found the love of their lives. A year later, at Jane's wedding, her sister and her boss were reunited, and Jane found her Prince Charming and wore the wedding dress of her dreams. The smile on her face was a symbol of her happiness. Their wedding was more than just a grand ceremony and friends and family. Even the bride, who has been her maid of honor 27 times, they blessed Jane's marriage and thanked her for everything she'd done for them. Someday, you'll really like someone and you won't have a crush. You'll charge for love, and the value made for love will happen just like you said they would.